All right, guys. So today we're starting a two-day assignment in social studies. We are taking a look at Jamestown a little bit more. So you should probably be aware of the fact that Jamestown was the first permanent colony to be established in what would be the United States. So this was the first time people came over from England and stayed. Pretty cool in my book, y'all. So what you're doing today is you're examining the choices that the colonists made a little bit more. So here's what we're doing. Um, today you're going to explore what it was actually like to be a colonist in Jamestown. As you know, the colonists really didn't have an easy task ahead of them. You're going to complete two Jamestown online adventures and write a reflection when you've completed both of your adventures. Now when I say Jamestown online adventure here, please know that this means you're going to be completing an online activity. It's kind of like a game, so it's pretty cool. I hope you like it. Um, let's look at our steps. In step one, it says, read the Jamestown online adventure instructions here. So if we look at our instructions here, I've kind of given you a blow by blow as to what you need to do to complete this activity. So it says, for this activity, you are going to partake in an online Jamestown adventure. You will be seeing many different things on your adventure and be asked to answer some questions along the way. After you finish your adventure, you're going to repeat it. Um, so you're going to do this game twice, and there's interesting choices that you can make throughout the game. So it's really important for me to have you guys go through this and to analyze and take a closer look at your choices. So what we're doing here is um, you're first going to start off by going to the website listed, and I'm just going to copy paste that. It's also available in step, um, I believe, let's take a look real quick right there as well to click here to access. So we've got our game up now um, and this says you are the captain of Jamestown Colony. Can you do any better than the real colonists? You have a copy of the London Company's instructions to help guide you. Also you can ask your fellow colonists and the Native Americans for advice. Be careful though because some advice is better than others. So we're going to be asked a bunch of different questions and choices in this activity. And we'll kind of go through it together. Go ahead and click start the adventure and you should see this screen pop up. You're probably going to hear some music as well. So let's start the adventure. So you'll see here that I am um, given several choices here. Question one says, where do you want to land? So all of these little X's kind of give you explanations here. They give you reasons why um, these might be good ideas. And you can also ask a colonist and he says, Spain claims these lands before any other Europeans. If we end up on the coast, we could be attacked. So he's saying settling closer to land might be a good call. Let's look at our charter. Our charter says, when it shall please God to send you on the coast of Virginia, you shall do your best to find a safe port in the entrance of a navigable river, which means river you can move around in making choice of such as one runneth furthest into the land. And if you happen to discover portable rivers, okay, so this one's telling us here that um, we should pick a river we can navigate. So you would go ahead and pick your choice. After asking those two, let's say I pick inland. You can hit the continue button. And here's my question two. So you'll see here that um, you're, I'm being asked some questions about trading with uh, Powhatan. You're gonna go through this and select all of the choices. I am going to go ahead and finish it so you can see the end screen that you need to view. So here I've gone through and clicked through all of the options. And you'll see my overall evaluation here. 
So it says I had good food rating, fair health rating, good wealth, and good morale. I'm the governor of Virginia. So that means that I did pretty good. So let's look back at our lesson for today and see what we need to do with this. So if we jump back to our assignment, you'll see that there's a notes page located in step two. We need to click on that, that notes page and see what we need to accomplish today. So you are going to click through that game once and make sure that you are aware of the choices you have made as well. So it might be extremely helpful to pull up this assignment first and then also pull up the game to assist you. So you'll see where do you want to land? What do you say to Powhatan? What type of structure are you building? Will the colonists work? And um, what resources you look for and what items you planted. You'll also have a final question that says summarize the evaluation. That means that you're going to take a look at your results and kind of give me a summary, which means a shortened version of what you see here. You're not going to copy paste. You're going to tell me in your own words. For example, maybe I would say my, health, my wealth rating came out as good. This means that I've had good luck trading tobacco and um, it's a great product that my colony will continue to make. My morale is great. I wanted to seek peace and trade with the Indians, um, so I am getting there. And you're going to talk about how effective you were as a governor. So because we're talking about effectiveness here, you need to tell me whether or not you did a good job. So you're just going to write me a few sentences summarizing what you found. And then once you've finished that, you're going to go ahead and submit it in the Dropbox for today. Tomorrow, you are going to actually do the same thing, but we're going to compare our results to see what choices were better and what were worse. Good luck. Contact me, Mrs. Devlin, if you need anything, okay? Enjoy.